All right, welcome back to the Mirth Nadir Show. I got Raheem Devon on the phone. What's going on, Raheem? Chill, man. I'm just chilling, you know, on my grind, doing the late night recording thing. All right, all right. Appreciate it. We appreciate having you on the show. Yeah. Just got some quick questions for you. First one, can you describe Raheem Devon to the listeners? Yeah, I'm like what you call R&B, hippie, neo, soul, rock star. You know, I've been a uh, grassroots artist, underground king, you know, currently becoming the king among kings. Um... Uh, Making that transition, you know what I'm saying, to where a lot of more people recognize my music now. Uh, my first, my first um, solo album came out in 2005. It was called The Love Experience, followed by my um, album that came out January 15th, uh, Love Behind the Melody, you know, January 08. And we're about to do a re-release on that same album on August 12th, which is in a few days. Uh, we add two new songs to the record, my new single, Text Messages, and the Customer uh, Remix, featuring R. Kelly, so... Um, you know, I've just been on the ground for a minute, man. I got four independent albums. People that want to find that music, they can log on to urbanav31.com. That's U-R-B-A-N-A-V-E-A-V-E-31.com. Uh, also got six mixtapes out. Currently working on a new mixtape right now at the moment. Um, I'm at the studio right now. You know, I'm getting in there. <laughs> and, um, you know, I just be on the ground, man. Just, just constantly stand on my ground. You know, people that want to cop the mixtapes. You can order some of them from my MySpace page directly from the page. You click on a uh, mixtape and it send you right to PayPal. Or you can go to Urban App 31 and order. And you can go to Urban App 31 and order the rest of the music. But, um, you know, just, build, just building the movement, man. You know, it, the stories are getting bigger and bigger. It's been a good year for me so far with the Grammy nomination. Yeah. Just bought a BET Award home and everything. So, nice. Um, yeah, man. So just, just keeping it, keep it moving, you know? Yeah. Tell us about your Grammy nomination. Oh, uh, man. Um, that was that was for my first single, Woman, which has been like number one um, on the charts for some time now, um, battling back and forth between other artists. And um, that was just a great experience to go, you know, be nominated for the 50th, 50th anniversary. You know, uh, Prince, took, Prince took the award home. It's all good. You know, I think it's well deserved. And I was definitely in great company with, with, the, other, with the other nominees that were nominated as well. So uh, that was cool. And... Okay. Um, you know the BET. I was I was nominated for two BET awards: best male R&B performance and, uh, and the BET J Awards. So I took one out of, one out of two home. That's not bad. Yes, sir. Yeah, you know, and, and the year's not over yet. No, sir. We're halfway done. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so tell um tell us about the where you were when you first we you heard your first song on the radio. Ah oh, man, it's been some time. It's like years <laughs> ago. It's probably yeah. like the home jams. You know, they got what you call DC home jams. That was like years ago, you know. Yeah. It was cool. It was cool, but I heard it, and then it was like, after that, I ain't hearing no more. So it's, <laughs> it's like, I don't really get too geeked up on that, you know. It's like, it's always work to be done, you know. It's when you turn on the radio and you hear your joint on, like, three different stations at one time or two different stations at one time, you're like, I, okay, yeah, this this is like, it's, it's, it's happening now, you know. Right. That DC Home Jams on WPGC, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> That's good. All right, so who who are some of your idols and mentors in the industry? Idols and mentors, definitely. I got to hang out with one of them the other night. I had to say Jay Z, you know what I mean? Um, also, Puffy, you know what I'm saying? I think they just, just on a, just, they, they, they're some of the two of the best to ever kind of do it, you know, from a standpoint of being an artist, but also a businessman, having their hands on so many different things. Um, also, uh, Marvin Gaye, Prince, Curtis Mayfield, Bob Molly. I'm a big Patty LaBelle fan. Um, I think she's probably one of the dopest performers ever. Right. I just did a show with Patti LaBelle um, about two weeks ago, man. It was just like, wow. Yeah. You know, so um, it's just like she just get better. That's <laughs> you know right. I mean? She keeps her home out there in, in Maryland real close to you, right? Say again? She keeps her home out there in Maryland real close to you, right? I believe, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly where she's posted up at. I think she's in Philly, though. Okay. But, um, but, but yeah, man, like, I had an opportunity, you know, I had an opportunity to do a show with her not too long ago. Uh, I also did a wedding with her in the past, too, as well. Okay. Um, but, um. Yeah, man, she, I think she's one of the dopest female performers. Not just female, it's performers, period, man. Right. You know what I mean? She's just, like, just crazy with it, you know? <laughs> I agree with you. Back in the yeah. day, you know, she's been around for a little while, still going strong. Yeah, so, you know, and, uh, I'm feeling like, you know, a lot of the new artists that are coming out, you know, definitely I'm in full, I'm in full support of all the artists from my area. Tabby Bonet, you know, the Oi Boys, Wale, Miss Kim. Uh, uh, Lil Marky, uh, Mr. Maine, um, who's my artist, um, you know, I'm 
I'm, I'm launching a digital label at some point in the near future. So, Mr. Mays from Southeast, uh, uh, Costello, uh, Stello from Baltimore is also my artist that I'm working with. Um, and, uh, it's, it's so much, it, of course, Urban Ave 31, Crossroads, W. Ellington Felton, you know, uh, Asheru. I go on and on. We got a lot of dope artists out here in the area. Yeah, and when you say the area, tell tell the listeners where you're talking about. I'm talking about the DMV, was 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 formerly known as Washington D.C. What we do, we take you know Maryland and, and D.C., District of Columbia, and, and Virginia, so close knit. We just call it the DMV. Right. Yeah. You know. So. Yeah. It's, you know, Chocolate City, DMV, and um, you know, that's I'm, I'm definitely at the spearhead of the movement of what's going on out here right now. All right. Sounds good. So tell. Tell us, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Oh, man, hopefully somewhere on a boat chilling. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? I was yeah. definitely, definitely creating an environment where I make my own schedule, schedule become more business savvy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and, 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 and who knows, I may be pretty much, you know, done with my commitments with job records and, and launching to do something bigger and better, you know, like a print situation maybe or something, you know? Right. Now, is it true that you kind of are looking into investing in something like video phones and the cell phone yeah, technology? Yeah, I'm, I'm part of a company called Five Links. You know, definitely I welcome anybody that, that, that would love to, to get in, you know, underneath me and, and find out how the whole situation works. Feel free to hit me on MySpace. Just say I'm an entrepreneur and, and I want to get signed up and I'll get, get, the, get the process going for you. Or if you're just a consumer, you know what I mean, and you want to get a video phone for me, you can do that on my page, you know, um, just go to five or five links um, dot net um, uh, forward slash D- Devon Devon E N T. You know, and um, go there. You can order cell phones, uh, whatever you need. I got whatever you need on my page. Sounds good. That's good. Okay, to end off the interview, I like to do a little word association. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna tell you uh, like a topic, and you just tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. All right. First one is High Point High School. Um. Um. Uh, history. All right. Bar none in Washington, D.C. Um, hustle. That's my hustle. Yeah. Okay, next one's a combo. Waxy Maxis and Top Tower Records. Um, uh, education, you know what I'm saying? Because of the fact that, you know, I, I got a chance to see who the actual consumers are, who buys this music, you know what I mean? And, 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 and I also got a chance to learn a lot about music okay. in general. All right. Uh, Donnie Hathaway. Uh, Timeless. Stevie Wonder. Timeless. <laughs> and then finally, Raheem Devon. Timeless. <laughs> All right, we appreciate you appearing on Mirth Nadir. Is there a song we can play as we head off to the next uh, set of songs? Oh, uh, man, I don't know what you got in your repertoire over there. Anything uh, you want. Any one of yours or whatever you want. Play, 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 play. Um, Let's play something from the first album. Because that's where I'm kind of going with my next album. It's going to be Socially Conscious. Just to speak on that briefly, it's called The Love and War Masterpiece Project. It'll either, be, it'll either be dropped as a double CD or drop in Volume 1 and Volume 2. So if we do the Volume 1 thing, it's going to be all conscious music. My next, my next album is going to be a Socially Conscious album, just so for everybody out there that knows has been following the history of the music that I do, that, um, will appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, it's definitely going to be it's definitely going to be one for the books and one to remember. Uh, it's called the Love and War Masterpiece Project, and it'll probably be the War Volume One. And um, so, play like uh, I give you an option. You know, you can play like Catch Twenty Two or Who from my first album. All right. That's where I'm socially conscious. You know, that's where I'm going. I think that's you know it's right on time with what's going on right now. And um, you know, definitely vote. I'm vote. I plan to vote for Obama. Definitely sounds good. All right, we appreciate you being on Mercenary Dear. Yes, Take sir. care and have good luck.